Hello everyone, Maggie Higgins here at the St. John Art Center. Today we're going to be viewing and talking a bit about Bonnie Hill's new exhibit, Meta, which will be on at the Port St. John Gallery until March 5th. Not only has Bonnie created an amazing series of work that really explore the materiality of paint itself, she's also thought conceptually about what it means to have art, collect art, and view art in our new landscape of Zoom conferencing and FaceTime calls. Let's listen to Bonnie talk a little bit about this piece and how you can become part of this exhibit. I do feel very fortunate to be able to show my work here. I know that all over the world, visual artists are struggling because art galleries are closing down because of COVID-19 and artists are having trouble finding exhibition space. I'm certainly in favor of people trying to stay home as much as possible. But because of that, visitor numbers are way down in art galleries. So I was thinking about this as I was putting the finishing touches on this work. And I was also thinking about um, how this relates to some previous work that I did um, that was to do with being a consumer of art or thinking about what it means to consume art, to own art, to have art, to buy art, that sort of thing. I do tend to work in series and I do like to have a transition piece to sort of segue from one series to the next. My last series was called I don't know anything about art. I just want something nice to hang over my sofa to match my living room. I started noticing back in March when things were shut down that I was getting little glimpses um, into people's homes because of video conferencing and broadcasting from home. And whenever I would see uh, you know, a politician, a broadcaster, a journalist um, broadcasting from home, I would see little glimpses of paintings and sculpture and uh, photographs and I would wonder about the artist and I, I would want more information. If you have original art, why not support artists and galleries by featuring it on a Zoom call? I certainly realize that this is a really tough time for people financially and not everyone is in a position to run out and spend a lot of money on buying original art. Another way that you can support a local artist is by using a green screen. Making a green screen is really easy. I just use green poster board. So I really like the work of Jared Betts, who's a Moncton painter. So I just went on his website, um, got his contact information. I sent him an email and asked if I could use one of his works on a video conferencing call. And then I looked up the Carfax fee schedule and I saw that you should pay an artist a $25 fee to use an image in digital form. So I just e-transferred Jared 25 bucks and I'm going to use his image for a Zoom call that I have coming up this week for my weekly choir practice. So, to promote the idea of using original art for video conferencing and broadcasting, you can go to your own art collection, you can visit a website of a local gallery or a local artist, or you can take part in this interactive piece by just following the list of instructions. And when you find the image that you like, you have my total permission to take a photograph of it and use it freely. Use it on social media. Or go to my website, www.bonniehillart.com and feel free to use any of the images on there. No permission needed, no strings attached. And enjoy being snazzy.